first qualifier, Brighton Horner. Good to see the youngster back with us here at New Smyrna. He's run some sports and races here. And he's been running the super late model on some of the bull rings around the state. Always happy to have the Pletcher Racing 75 in attendance. White flag will be out for Brighton Horner. And there you see an 18.621, 18621. That first lap was a warm-up lap, then two timed laps today will take the fastest of the two as the lap of record. So here comes Brighton Horner, be the first qualifier in the books. 18.528 for the youngster Brighton Horner. Next out to qualify will be the Finney Racing Enterprises Bob Steele Chevrolet number 80 for Brian Finney. Brian Finney, our next qualifier. Brian Finney on track now, trying to beat an 18 to 528 from Brighton Horners, number 75. will complete lap number one. And it'll be an 18.220, 18.2, I'm sorry, 18.222 there for Brian Finney. And a checkered fly will fly this time for Brian Finney. 18.234 there for Finney on lap number two. So Finney goes to the top of the board. I'm not sure why it's not reflected on the board there, but Brian Finney is the fast qualifier. Trenton Hennick will be our next qualifier in car number 15. Made the start out here in the Orange Blossom 100 during the World Series back in February. Has renumbered the machine to number 15 for this week's contest. So Trenton Hennick in the 15, turns down the green flag. That first lap doesn't count. It's a get up to speed, a dead lap, a warm up lap, whatever you want to call it. So, rookie driver Trenton Hennick, our next qualifier in the 15. He's a little bit up the racetrack. There are some weepers over there in the corners today that could make things a little bit treacherous. A 20.892. So, Trenton going to look for a little bit better second lap here. And you might be able to see those weepers from where you're sitting. Uh, some of the conversation during the driver's meeting today. So we've actually moved our start box up a little bit today to try to keep all four tires in good contact with the asphalt for starts and restarts. Checkers are out for Trenton Hennick. A 20.305. That'll keep him third out of the three qualifiers. Race car engineering number 67 hits the track next. This is Plant City, Florida's Colin Allman. Good to see Colin back here. He's been running some of the Southern Super Series races. And he's made the trek up to the New Smyrna Speedway today. And Colin Allman will take the green flag. Time to beat Brian Finney's 18. Up point two two two. Brian Horner second. Actually, yeah, Brian Horner second. Trenton Hennick sitting in third. A white flag here for Colin Allman. It'll be an 18.164. Colin Allman goes to the top of the board. This number 67 sharp looking car could be a threat in the race today, but looking good in qualifying. You see the car is kind of up in the middle of the racetrack trying to avoid those weepers. Checker flag is out an 18.044. Great lap there for Colin Allman. Puts him on top of the board. And Daniel Webster will be our next qualifier here in Congress 33. Right foot down Webster race cars machine with the Wrangler scheme. We've got a couple of Wrangler paint schemes in attendance. Two super stocks and now this super light model, all from different teams. Sharp looking super here for Daniel Webster. Surprised to turn on the old Facebook machine today. So the green is out for Daniel Webster. Ran a couple of times out here during the World Series. He's had some good runs in the SRL Sportsman Series. One of the top point drivers in that series that'll be at, uh, I believe, Auburndale next week. And Daniel Webster will take the white flag in 18-107. That puts him second on the board on lap number one. 
again, we take the fastest of the two laps. So we'll see if he can pick up here. Colin Allman sitting atop the board, 18.044 seconds, the time to beat. Checkers are out. And just a small pick up there, second for Daniel Webster, 18.104. Very consistent laps for car number 33. From the number 33 to the 37, the national roofing machine for Michael Goddard. Good to have Michael Goddard back in attendance. It's been a couple of years since we've seen him here. As a regular in the pro truck ranks for many, many years and has stepped up into the super late models and has had some good runs on some of the smaller tracks in the state. And we'll see what we can do here on the big half mile on New Smyrna Speedway. This place a good proving ground for all of those touring series. And I think Michael trying to get some big track experience here in this 100 lapper. Sharp look at number 37, Michael Potter. Lap number one, 18.101. He goes to second on the board. Very close times, just beating Webster by three one thousandths of a second. Colin Allman still fastest, 18.044 seconds to time to be on this hot slick racetrack. And Michael Goddard goes to the top of the board, 17.951. And it went so fast he broke the scoreboard. But Michael Goddard is now the fast qualifier with six cars in the book, 17951. Steve Weaver Jr. in the race app electric Weaver Racing Enterprises 112 will be our next qualifier. Weaver out of Plantation, Florida, regular during the World Series in February. Weaver with a fresh bumper and some fenders, and he's on the clock. Steve Weaver will come by and complete his first time lap. And Weaver will clock in at 20.700 seconds, 20.700 seconds. Again, you can follow along with the race monitor if you have that app on your cell phone. Time to beat Michael Goddard, 17.951. will complete his qualifying effort. He picks up on his second lap, 20.533 seconds. The Freedom Medals, number 28 for Timothy Watson, a surprise entry here today. Former street or outlaw champion at the Five Flag Speedway in Pensacola. So making the trek down with his super late model, Timothy Watson will come by and take the green flag. Made his new Smyrna debut back here in February, the ASA Southern Super Series. And has made the track down. He's raced at a couple of the Florida tracks over the past year or so, been at Auburndale. I think he was over at Citrus. Now gonna try his hand once again here at New Smyrna. He was way down on the bottom of the racetrack. You see that car just a little bit twitchy. An 18.131, Watson will be fourth on the board. Watson in the 28, gonna come by and take the checkers. And it'll be fourth quick for Timothy Watson, 18.131 seconds. Fire hitting the track will be car number 70 for Gavin Graham. Good to see Gavin back out here. Had a wild ride back in January during the Red Eye 50, upside down in turns one and two. And now this team is back to try to keep it on all fours here today. Green flag is out for this number 70 machine. The LNR Structural Corporation sponsored car for Gavin Graham. Former Legends car stand out. An 18.098, 18.098. That is a pretty good lap there for Gavin Graham. 
So Gavin Graham third after lap number one. Great effort there for this team. Good rebound early on, at least from the red eye. And an 18-1-0-4, he'll slow down a little bit there on that lap. But again, we take the fastest lap. So third fastest for Gavin Graham. Michael Goddard still sitting atop the board. Time to beat, 17.951. 17.951, the time to beat. Getting down to our last couple of qualifiers. And some heavy hitters set to roll, including the defending track champion. Car number nine for Brad May out of Oviedo, Florida. The Ark Edwards Incorporated, Bobby Sears Racing number nine. It's kind of the mayor of the new Smyrna Speedway. David Rogers passing the torch to this man. And Brad May has been the man to beat here as of late. Struggled just a bit during the World Series, but you get a whole different field of competition in February. Cars coming from all over the place. It's a great, like I said, a great proving ground here at the track and a great field to compete against. And these guys were kind of middle of the pack in the World Series. We'll see if they've gotten that better as Brad May takes the green flag. And good news for you folks, I see a couple more race cars coming in the back gate. Again, a little bit different starting time today, so you might see a couple of late arrivals tonight. White flag for Brad May, and let's see what he does. 18.212, that is sixth fastest for Brad May, and he'll admit qualifying not where he thrives. He thrives in the races. But again, he's got lap number two. He's having to tiptoe around those weepers on the bottom of the racetrack, and he slows down on lap number two. To Brad May's sixth fastest. That could play right into his hand, though, for feature time. I'll tell you why in a minute. Next out to qualify, the Omnia Briar team, at number 27 for Bobby Good out of Lake Mary. Bobby Good picked up a Sunbelt Series victory last year. So Bobby Good definitely could be a threat here tonight. Ran a couple of races in February. And it's on the Supers event here. Green flag is now out for the Briar Team 27 car. After that, one final driver to qualify. A couple of cars not going to take time, but they can file in the rear and make the start later on tonight. Here comes Bobby Good to the white flag, an 18.226. He'll be right there with Brad May. Actually, a couple spots behind eighth for Bobby Good, not what they were looking for at all. Here comes the 27, Bobby Good. Oh, and he hits the weepers and about lost it. Close call for Bobby Good. He will definitely slow down there on lap number two. What a tough break there for Bobby. Again, we talked about the weepers with the drivers, and ooh, you see Schofield wheeling it sideways. Jeff Schofield in the Earthscape's Choo Choo Lawn Equipment Machine. Good to see Jeff back out here on the asphalt. Been running some dirt races the last couple of months. Had some good runs over at Auburndale to start the year. Now here comes Jeff Schofield, our final qualifier for the Super Lakes. A couple of cars, like I said, not going to take time or had issues in practice, including Nick White in the 22. And Jeff Schofield trying to chase down Michael Goddard, who sits atop the board, the only car in the 17-second bracket. 17-9-5-1, the time to beat. Here comes the veteran. Schofield slides it to the wall, first lap in the books. It's a good one. 18.1 at 3-1, good enough for sixth. That tells you how close the field is. The top six cars all within the 18.1 second bracket. It's gonna make for a tight field. Schofield slides it to the wall. That is great that he did. Checkers are out for Schofield. 18.3, 8.6, little bit of damage on the right rear quarter panel for Schofield's 07. Wow, crazy qualifying there. The last couple of cars. The track is treacherous here tonight. A lot of rain here this morning. And this old surface, she's getting repaved at the end of this year, and now you know why. But she's been weeping for a couple of years, so gonna be a little bit treacherous. We talked to the drivers in the driver's meeting. They felt good to race. We've actually moved our start and restart zone. You see the cones up on the wall by the Flow Racing banner off turn four. That'll be our restart zone tonight to keep the cars all on the asphalt as we go for those important starts. So. To recap here, Michael Goddard, the fast qualifier, 17.951 seconds. That's a great lap for Michael Goddard. Colin Allman with a great lap as well, second fastest, 18.044.
Gavin, Gavin Graham in third, 18.098. Daniel Webster, a good effort in fourth, 18.104 seconds. And Timothy Watson going to come home in the fifth position, 18.131. Schofield, who just qualified, will be sixth. Brad May, way back in seventh, middle of the pack for Brad. Brian Finney qualifies eighth, ninth for Bobby Good, and tenth for Brighton Horner. There will be an invert. We won't know what the invert is until all of the heat races are complete. Go to patreon.com slash speedwayvideo now.